Another good man is gone It's just a price we have to pay Another good man is gone Away, yeah, yeah, yeah Another good man is gone We just have to say Goodbye daddy, we meet some other day Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Where we have lost a soldier, an icon, a father, a, a sporting figure. And for many who don't know, he was not only involved in track and field, but he was an excellent footballer. Actually, he was my football coach. He was the football coach for Nevis for many a year. Uh, and they were talking about Lester Blackett, who believed in fitness, who believed in standards, who believed in ensuring that things went particularly well. He was very pertinent, he was very efficient, and he was very meticulous in the way things were done. As a coach in football, as a coach and administrator in track and field, and track and field will be remembered by most people of him. Those who didn't know him, he was a wonderful footballer, and uh, I liken him to the Dwight Yorks of uh, Trinidad, the Kevin Keegans of England. He was that excellent, and had he not been hampered by an injury in the first instance, well, a second instance, I must say, because because of his religious background, he never really wanted to play football on a Sunday. And uh, that is what he wanted for the school. He produced very, very successful players out of the Charlestown Secondary School, played in the football competition as Seacos, and they never played on Sundays because of his religious background. He lived by that for many a year. And uh, he was very outstanding and i as i said an outstanding footballer but track and field was his forte and uh, you know i could remember working with him as a young teacher when we were both young teachers we actually started the athletic association unofficially then it became official with the likes of janet girl hull jennifer herbert um, hodge glenn hanley and uh, in the early stages and led later on the likes of Suti Byron, Halstead Suti Byron, the, the deceased Merrill Carbon and one or two others but from my advantage point I worked along with them in the early stages and you know it was meeting either at his parents home and when that could not happen we met at the science lab at the Charlestown Secondary School and uh, we planned many a meet when it came to track and field out of that actually grew uh, the interprimary championship which is the hallmark of his work as he was wholly and solely you know as a team we put it together and he being a technical person being a scientific person believed in statistics believed in technology and he was very good in that and brought videoing, uh, videoing into the actual production of the meat, and we, I'm sure, is going to miss an icon, and I call him an icon because I think he was one of the best in terms of not only administration but in the field of track and field. He was an excellent athlete. For many who might not know him, please for the young ones, for the, those of the days of old who followed track and field. And uh, uh, I, I, I smile while I say this because I remember him in high school with his brother Melrose having to share one pair of track shoes. And his thing was, you take the track shoes for the 200 and the 400, because Melrose was a very good uh, middle distance runner. I think he was one of the best St. Kitts Nevis has ever produced in the 400 meters. It was then the quarter mile, and he, Lester, would use the track shoes for the 100 meters and the relays, because they both had to run against each other in the relays. But that's a light moment for me, but outstanding figure in track and field. Outstanding, and I, you know, 
it is very hard for me to really go on to say a lot more because of how close we were we we grew up in high school together he was a number of classes ahead of me but he was like an icon he was our first um person who went off on a sports scholarship and that is one of the things i tried to emulate myself but was unfortunate in not getting one of the sports scholarships because of various reasons um, names played the game in that day if you didn't have a proper title you couldn't get one but i am very happy that he took on the sports scholarship he was awarded it by howard university and happier still that instead of going on to play professional football or going into professional track and field because if he had an interest and if he had that mindset he would have gone on to but he chose not to having graduated he decided to return to his homeland of nevis started off working in sandy point and kids as a teacher pushing sports then came to nevis and has been for the rest of his life pushing sports especially track and field and so he gave back to his country selflessly and i do admire him for that and i do ap applaud him for that because others perhaps would have gone on to make a profession out of of that that area in track and field which is a big thing now many maker which is a football now and as, as we call it soccer because americans call it soccer they have their football but we would have been very proud of him if he had ventured into those areas because he would have make made a big hallmark in those fields had he gone out there one of the best and i call him one of the best um professional footballers that we have seen one of the best track and field personnel and uh, in as administration especially would have been part of the group that started and almost single-handedly would have been there on his own at times you know trying to push track and field so i do send the condolences to his wife vernis uh, their daughter and uh, to the blackett's family as a whole especially clyde and uh Melrose who would have been closer to me at the time and uh, we you know no we have lost somebody a soldier an icon and I Frankie Claxton would like to extend my condolences to the Blackett's family to Vernice and her family on behalf of myself and my wife and my family we have lost a soldier and I cut another good man